You see, I'm not listening, man. Come on, pay attention. Read the Bible again. From Psalms chapter 68, verse 11. The Lord gave the word. What did he say? So that means God gave the word. Again, read on. Great was the company of those that published it. So it says, great was the company of the men that published the word that God gave. We follow this over. So now we're going to go to the book of Isaiah to show you that when Isaiah was given the word, what did he do? He wrote it and what did he do? He published it. Now go to Isaiah 13, now verse 8. Of Isaiah chapter 30, verse 8. Listen good. Now go, write it before them in a tape. What, what was the instruction that was given to Isaiah? He said to what? Before he, he says, write it in a table, right? Go ahead. And note it in a book. And do what now? And note it in a book. So this book, what is it called today? You see? He's listening, he's paying attention. So who wrote the, who wrote, who wrote the books in the Bible? Isaiah is one of them. There's many of them. There's Moses. There's Jeremiah. There's Ezekiel. There's many prophets that wrote the books. You have the answers right now. So who are the answers? Who are dead? So when somebody is dead, what are they doing? No, but how? Make it make sense. Wait, wait. What do you mean you don't know? How are you supposed to know all this? You, that's what you believe, okay? Remember, Ben. I'm, I want to pay attention, man. Pay attention. What you doing, I'm saying, that's what you say you believe, right? So I'm asking you about your belief. So you are, I'm asking you, say, now that they are, they are dead, so then how do they become your ancestors? Just uh, explain, make it make sense. You don't know. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, next okay. question. Okay. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait. I'm gonna get to it. Question. When are you in grade seven? That's the question. Right? When I'm, I'm, you look like you have a question. You can't just go. Uh, give me the book of Colossians one. They will tell you God created it. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ah. You have a question now. Okay, who wrote the Bible? What is it? Who created God? Okay, you can't make this up. <laughs> In Colossians 1, read verse 16. Read that. The book of Colossians, chapter 1, verse 16. Not only verse 15. The book of Colossians, chapter 1, verse 15. Come on. Who is the image of the invisible God? So let's talk about Christ. Go ahead. The firstborn of every creature. Read. For by him were all things created uh -huh. that are in heaven and that, and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. So now, this is true about Jesus Christ, right? He was created by the Most High God. You follow this over? You follow it? Okay. Now, give me the book of Proverbs 8. You see, that's the problem. He, all the time he's been standing here, we, we answer, we debunk everything he brought out. Just give me scriptures. Ah, on, wait, 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 wait. When are you, when, right now, take a break and repeat the new questions. Who then can answer, take oh, wait, That's the wait. question. Read that. Proverbs 8, read verse 22. You have to go through it. A pamphlet. Ah, they are finished, my brother. You see, hard. But you can leave your numbers because we have a school down, here, down the road. Okay. If you want to learn more. Proverbs 8, verse 22. The book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 22. Now listen good. The Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way. Now this is, this, this is talking about Christ, talking about the most High God. Read on. Before his work of old, I was set up from everlasting. From what now? From everlasting. From what now? From everlasting. What is everlasting? Define, please define everlasting. What's everlasting? You're in school. Who's, who's doing that here? Okay, who's doing infinity? You know infinity? What is it? Until so, it never what? In the Bible again? The book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 23. I was set up from everlasting, from the beginning of ever the earth. 
what? So the most high God is from everlasting. So in simple terms, he's from infinity. Who created me? Nobody. Nobody. He was just there. Read uh, the Bible again. Who wrote the Bible? Come on, read the Bible again. The book of Proverbs, chapter 8, verse 23. We're going to read the Bible. Because you said you believe the Bible. I was set out from everlasting, from the beginning, or ever the earth was. Read. When there were no depths, I was profound. When there were no fountains, abounding with water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills, was I profound. While as yet he had not made the earth, nor the field, nor the highest part of the dust of the world. So, the most high God of heaven and earth is from everlasting. You cannot point his beginning. Nobody can. That's it. Nobody. That's why it's called the most high God of heaven and earth. So the question he asks is irrelevant. It's not irrelevant. We just gave him the answer. Yes. Who wrote the Bible? Then see, your question is coming back. Ne? <laughs> Give me Psalm 68 verse 35, man. You see, you see where I am, man. And you, 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 oh, no, 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 but Psalm 68. You just say, okay, yeah, we don't understand what you're saying. Yep, Psalm 68 verse 11. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 68 verse 11. Now, listen good. The Lord gave the word. So who gave the word of God? Read again. The book of Psalms, chapter 68 verse 11. The Lord gave the word. So who gave the, who gave the word that is written in this book? The Lord, right? The most high God of heaven and earth. Watch this. Great was the company of those that published it. So, who did the Lord give this word to? The what? Where now? Who did he give it to? Come on, think about it, man. This is a book, right? The names of the prophets in this book, you know about them, right? Jeremiah, Ezekiel. So now, read Psalm 68, verse 11 again. From Psalms chapter 68, verse 11, the Lord gave the word. So the Lord gave the word, right? Go ahead. Great was the company of those that published it. So their forefathers, our forefathers, they were given the word. So what did they do? They what did they do? They published it. So when you publish something, what must you do first before you publish it? <laughs> you must write it again. You want to take books for school of them? Yes. So now, so Isaiah 30. It says, great was the company of those that published the books, right? Let's read it. Isaiah 1 and 1. See? He's running, man. Don't run, my brother. Don't be running, man. Come on. Isaiah 1 and 1. Now, pay attention, young man. Yeah. Read what you got. That's it right there. But by Isaiah chapter 1, verse 1. The vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah in Jerusalem. So now, this is the prophet Isaiah, right? Right? They were reading the book of Isaiah. Now go Isaiah 30 now. They say, I get you asking who wrote the Bible. I'm giving you one prophet who wrote the Bible. One of them. Because there's many of them. Come on. Go by Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 8. Read. Now, go. Write it before them in a tape. Now, who is he talking to? Remember, we're still reading the book of what? Isaiah. So, Isaiah is the name of the prophet that wrote the book of what? The book of Isaiah. Isaiah, the prophet, wrote which book? Yes. That's the answer. So, read it again. What did God tell him to do when he gave him the word? You follow me? Okay, wait. Which one here is doing mathematics? Raise your hand. Okay, you mess, man. Okay, in mathematics, they teach you how to put the pieces of the things together. Right? When you solve a problem, I think you must break it down and put the pieces together. That's what we're doing here. So now, listen. We're going to put the pieces together to give you the answer. So now you must listen logically. Again, you do mathematics again. This should be easy. So Isaiah, give me Psalm 68 verse 11 again. Listen good. Psalm 68 verse 11. Yeah, that's it. From Psalms 68 verse 11, the Lord gave the word. What did the Bible say? You see, I'm not listening, man. Come on, pay attention. Read the Bible again. From Psalms 68 verse 11, the Lord gave the word. What did it say? So 
So that means God gave the word. Again, read on. Great was the company of those that published it. So it says, great was the company of the men that published the word that God gave. We follow this so far. So now we're going to go to the book of Isaiah to show you that when Isaiah was given the word, what did he do? He wrote it and he, what did he do? He published it. Now go to Isaiah 30, now verse 8. Go to Isaiah chapter 30, verse 8. Listen good. Now go, write it before them in a tape. What, what was the instruction that was given to Isaiah? He says, do what? Before he, he says, write it in a table, right? Go ahead. And note it in a book. And do what now? And note it in a book. So this book, what is it called today? You see? He's listening, he's paying attention. So who wrote the, who wrote, who wrote the books in the Bible? Isaiah. Isaiah is one of them. There's many of them. There's Moses. There's Jeremiah. There's Ezekiel. There's many prophets that wrote the books. Yes. Yes. I agree with you. The first people that was made was bread. You are right. So the question is what? Is this God or is this Jesus? That's what he said. They said this is Jesus. Do you believe it? Why not? Why not? He said what? They were black people. Who agrees with it? You all agree? We are not, you don't agree? You agree? Okay, let's prove it. Genesis 2 verse 7. You are right. You are right, of course. You know Adam. You know about Adam in the Bible. Adam is right? Okay, read it. From Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. Listen good. Lord God from man from the dust of the ground. So God created man from the dust of the ground. What color is the dust of the ground? Look at it. You stand on it. What color? What color? What color is it? So, so, hold on. The first people was made was what? So they were black people. So do you agree? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do you agree? Yes or no? That's a good question. Why do you agree? So what were they using? They to appear where? In the world. Where in the world? Where? The earth is big, man. Where in the earth? Where in Africa? Where in Africa? In where? Where are you saying Ethiopia? Another one? South Africa. Where now? Very good. Where now? You don't know. Where now? You don't know. But what do you think? Now think, man. You must get up here. Come on. What do you think? Okay, okay. We're going to shut that thing down. Okay, now go to John 1. John 1. Read verse 11. We're going to go down. John 1 verse 11. Of John the one verse 11. He came unto his own. His own received him not. But you ask the question, is that how? Keep me. But as many as received him, read to them, gave the power to become the sons of God. Keep me. Even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh. And the word was to one now? Word was made flesh. So remember, in the beginning was the what? Wait, wait, wait. In the beginning was the what? John 1 and 1. Read that. So John 1 is 1. Read. In the beginning was the word. Was the what? Was the word. The word. In the beginning was the word of God. Come on. And the word was with God. The word was God. The word was God. This one tells us in the beginning. Now John 1, read verse uh, 18 again. From John 1 verse 13. Come on. Which were born not of blood, nor of the will of flesh, of the will of man, but of God. 
Pay attention now. And the word was made flesh. The word was what now? Made was flesh. made flesh. So God created man using the dust of the ground. That's why, hey, listen, listen. That's why when, when they, are you doing science? Who's doing science here? That's excellent. Did they teach you about the human body? So did they tell you the minerals in the soil and the minerals in your body? So are they, are they the same? 